Uh, David Davis. The, uh, everybody in the House will share the Home Secretary's laudable aims of cutting knife crime. But she will remember that when we debated the new uh, stop and search powers, I think it was the day after the Casey report came out, and I cited some examples from that report. It found examples where police officers had justified carrying out a search based on a person's ethnicity alone, had been rude or uncivil while carrying out the search, and had used excessive force, leaving people, often young people, humiliated, distressed, and uh, this damaged trust in the Met. And Casey called for a fundamental reset of the Met's use of stop and search powers. Now, I, at the time, I, I took it that the Home Secretary agreed with the Casey report. Um, so can she tell the House how what she's proposing today, which may have considerable merit, takes on board that reset? How has she absorbed that reset into what she's doing today? Well, I thank my right honourable friend for his question. What we are, uh, we fully this government and indeed myself, we fully support the police in the fair use of stop and search to crack down on violent crime and to protect communities. Because every knife taken off our streets is a potential life saved. That is the value that stop and search brings to fighting crime. The announcement that I'm making today brings together a series of measures whereby there will be an obligation to include more reporting and a greater uh, increase on the data. That's something that's been commented on, on previous, by previous inspectors and reports so that we have a clearer picture of its use and its efficacy. Uh, there'll be guidance uh, issued by the College of Policing, but already we have seen an improvement in accountability, an improvement in scrutiny, and as a result, a fall in the number of complaints. <laughs>